All right, hello everybody. We're going to be doing a quick problem on uh, arithmetic gradient uniform series factor problems here for the construction engineering course. Um, first off, we're just going to look at uh, a typical problem that involves um, this uniform series factor, A. Um, basically what we're doing here, let's read the question. What is the equivalent constant annual value of a series of 10 $5,000 investments that increase by $400 per year if the mutual fund has a 2.5% APR compounded yearly? So basically, this is what we're looking at. This is um, the series of investments starting at 5000 5 and then it increases by 400, so 5,400, 5,800, all the way up to 8,600 here at year 10. Okay, here's one, two, three, so on and so forth. And basically what we want to know is if we were to draw in, actually, yeah, let's go ahead and do this blue. If we were to draw in a series of um, uniform investments, every year what would we have to invest so that these are equal to this okay so that's what we're gonna try to find and that's what this um, arithmetic gradient uniform series factor does for us so basically what we look at is kind of like the other ones so let's go ahead and bring this up and we'll write out our givens. Okay, so we're given an A initially of $5,000. We're given a G, which is how much, oops, how much it constantly increases of $400 per year. We're given an I of 2.5% and that's annual compounding and an N of 10 years. So this is in years, this is in years, we're okay on the interest rate that we're gonna use. Okay, so basically what we do is um, make sure that our problem is set up how the equation and the uniform series factor um, allows it to be. So we have to look at these assumptions that have to be held. So one is that you're making a constantly linearly increasing investment, constantly increasing. So it's going from 5,000 and it's increasing 400 per year. So this is check. So G is a constant and that's good. Um, and they're happening at the end. So this is year zero at the end. That is check. Um, interest rate is constant, check, and we're not making any additional investments during this period that make this non-linear, check. Okay, so that means that we can use this factor. So how it works out is that basically we want to find A, which are these blue dot, uh, bars here, and we know that A is equal to A prime plus A double prime. Double prime. What are those, you ask? Well, one is, if we just draw out the cash flow diagram, stay on the page here, we draw out a couple cash flow diagrams here. Oops, those are not at the same level, but well, you can get it. Um, we have basically something like this. Okay, say that goes out to 10. I didn't make it. And these are A prime. And basically on the withdrawal side, we're going to have a constant value as well. Okay, and we kind of call this A1, but we're not actually going to calculate it. It's built in here. Um, plus, basically the same thing up top. Okay, on and on and on and on till 10, and we call this a double prime. But this is going to be equivalent to our, here's zero, here's one, our constantly, um, arithmetically um, increasing 
value g, so on and so forth, out here to 10. And this is, you know, g, g plus, you know, 2g, 3g, so on and so forth, right? Um, so this is what we're going to find. a prime being uh, with a1 being a, 5,000. So if we just take that out of everything, and then this constantly increasing value um, here. And we're going to find these two values that come out equivalent and basically add them together to find our answer. Okay, so ends up being fairly easy in practice. Um, this a prime is just 5,000. Okay, it's just this a value. So that's 5,000. And then our a double prime is equal to um, g times a slash g at the 2.5% over the course of 10 years. Okay, so that's just how it's set up. So here we would have oops, G being 400 times, and we don't have a chart for 2.5%, so we can use the actual equation, which I'll just write out over here. Uh, you have in your equation chart, I won't write it out because, oops, go back up. somewhere. Um, there we go. Okay. Um, it's up here. Uh, we're looking at this one right here. A sub a slash g i n is 1 over i minus n over 1 plus i to the n minus 1. Okay. So I won't write that out, but we'll just fill it in. It's going to be 1 over your interest rate, 0 0.025 minus 10, which is your n, over 1 plus 0 0.025 raised to the 10th minus 1. Okay, this comes out to 4.296. You multiply that by 400. And you come up with 1718.4, there's your 40 cents. And so now if you add a prime plus a double prime, you get a, which equals 6,718 and 60 cents. There you are. And that's all there is to it.